What is up fellow nerds and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now today we are going to be talking about the number one used Pokemon in UU for the month of January and that is Galarian Weezing. Now if you didn't catch my video yesterday, um, it's okay. Uh, it was an hour long and basically yesterday's episode um, of our state of the meta address was basically looking at um, what happened in the tiers and how those tiers are all uh, stacking up with some recent changes. Um, and Galarian Weezing happened to be the top used Pokemon in UU. So I thought it'd be appropriate to uh, go ahead and talk about that today. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Galarian Weezing is one of those Pokemon that is super, super versatile and does a lot of different things. And so you never really know what it's going to be doing. Um, now, as you can see, I have five sets here, but each of these sets, like, they're so customizable as well. So it's 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 got a lot of options. So let's go ahead and start with this set right here. This is a Black Sludge Levitate set. So now, first of all, let's look at the abilities, right? Levitate, which gives you an immunity to ground. Awesome, because we're weak to ground with this. Neutralizing Gas gets rid of um, opponent's abilities, also really cool, and Misty Surge, so it can summon Misty Terrain. This is the only Mon that can summon Misty Terrain right now until the Tapus come back. So, yeah, this thing does a lot of things, and it does them all really, really nicely. So, let's uh, let's look at this first set here. So, Strange Steam is this uh this boy's signature move which is 90 base power 95 accuracy and you have a chance to confuse and it's a fairy type move so this is a really great move you're basically going to see this on any set um, that wheezing is running and so he also gets will-o-wisp he gets defog which is amazing he's one of the best defoggers in the game right now at least in the uu tier and pain split so that he can recover health back so yeah this thing is absolutely awesome this is a great mon so it also gets a lot of other things though. So I want to look at some other things you could run on this set. So clear smog, clear smog is an awesome option to stop setup sweepers. So one option you have is to run this fully physically defensive. And so if Amon is setting up on the physical side that you can take the hit from, you're not going to be taking a ground type move. So if something's setting up like a swords dance or anything like that, like a Haxorus or anything, um, you should be able to take one hit and you can go for the clear smog. Clear smog will reset all of those stat changes that the uh, that, that Mon has set up on you and it can go ahead and get rid of those. It's it's really, really nice. Um, another option is aromatherapy. Aromatherapy cures all status conditions, which is a great cleric option. Um, I don't think that's necessarily perfect on this set, but we will uh, we will look at that on a later set. Um, Haze, which is basically just a worse clear smog. You would basically want to run clear smog unless you're facing steals, which, um, in which case Haze would be better. So, you know, um, Haze isn't necessarily a bad option here. We get Memento, which is awesome. So you lower your opponent's attack and special attack by two, and then you faint. So then you can bring in something to set up. Um, you know, something like Mimikyu comes to mind. Not Mimikyu, because that's OU. Um, you could set up with Haxorus, Dragon Dances, or um, sword stances, anything like that. Um, what else appreciates that? Um, you could start setting up coils with Cinescorch. Um, you can set up uh, a lot. Of, you can set up sword stance with Deblade, um, Dragon Dance with Flygon. There's a lot of options. A lot of um, setup sweepers like that. So, yeah, it gives you a lot of options as far as that goes. Um, we get fire type coverage in Flamethrower, Fire Blast, and Heat Wave, and overheat all all of that stuff we get um, ghost type coverage obviously poison we get electric coverage which is really cool um, it gets access to t-spikes it gets taunt which is really cool on sets like this um, although later sets we uh, we probably will use it a little bit more and speaking of later sets let's go ahead and move on to a misty surge version which I did not give EVs so uh, yeah those are not great EVs so anyway, this is a Misty Surge set. And the reason I left this last slot blank is because honestly, Aromatherapy works great here. Haze works really great here. Um, you could also run Toxic Spikes, but um, typically I would run that on a different kind of set, especially with Misty Surge. If you're running Misty Surge, then Toxic Spikes are completely redundant and so is Toxic. 
and um, so is Will-O-Wisp. So you would want to run more uh, more damaging type things on this. You could also run Destiny Bond. That's also an option. Um, but this thing still works really, really well as a defogger. Um, and so we're going to change this to, yeah, just like that. Um, so you can run minus speed. You could also run um, minus attack. I don't know why it's wanting me to run attack on this set. Yeah, there we go. And boom, there we go. Doing it live. It's fine. But yeah, so this last move set can be used for several different things. Haze is great. Aromatherapy, like we said. Memento would work. Um, Pain Split for recovery. Yeah, anything like this works really, really well. Um, but yeah, Misty Surge really, really helps. Um, it not only protects your team from status, but it also weakens dragons. So things like Haxorus aren't going to have nearly as good of a time just clicking Outrage. It's not going to do as much damage. So you uh there's definitely a place for this especially with that kind of a strong dragon running around and now that draco's ult has dropped it will also hurt it from hitting um anything of course that's gonna click bolt beak most of the time but you know it, it stops it from uh from clicking outrage on the rest of your team so finally let's look at some toxic spikes and so we've got neutralizing gas here neutralizing gas is super super good in nullifying incoming levitate users um, particularly things like Rotom's. Now, Rotom, uh, Rotom Mo did just move up, so there's not as many things that are really affected by that necessarily, um, but it does allow you to ignore um, other things' abilities, which is really, really cool. Um, it will ignore Magic Bounce if you were to try to set up these Toxic Spikes, which is really neat, because Espeon is going to be a common switch in for this. Um, yeah, it's just things like that. That's that's just one of the uh, the many uses for neutralizing gas. It's a really cool ability. But we've got T spike, strange steam, um, pain split, and defog. Of course, defog being an absolutely amazing move for this thing to get, um, and it really helps this thing's utility. Pain split, obviously, for even more recovery on top of the black sludge. Now, this thing doesn't have to just be defensive. It can also be an offensive threat too, just because it does get such great coverage. You know, you've got Sludge Bomb to deal with your fairies. You've got Fire Blast to deal with steels that would want to come in. Um, now that Vaporeon is in the tier, you've got T-Bolt for that and Milotic. Um, yeah, and then Strange Steam is just going to hit really hard. You're going to click Strange Steam most of the time, uh, but it gives you options to hit many other things. And you cover most of the meta um now you could run shadow ball for things such as claydol chandelure um uh espeon it also hits espeon really hard so that's also an option for you um but i i think that this is the uh the best setup for uh for this it does help you against rose raid having fire blast serena um, Weavile needs, you need the fire type coverage for Weavile. Um, Strange Steam helps you against Surfetched, which is cool. Um, although Surfetched is faster than you if he's running max speed, but he's not really going to be doing all that much damage. So, um, yeah, I, I think this spec set is also really, really cool. It'll catch a lot of opponents off guard. You coming in and, um, and hitting them with a really strong attack. Base 85 special attack is decently weak, but you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't sleep on it, especially with specs. Um, and plus, you've got that base 120 defense, so you're gonna be hitting you're gonna be taking hits pretty darn well on the physical side. And that's just what makes this mod so dangerous. Is that even without investment, you're just taking hits for days, and it's it's great. So modest specs, a lot of damage. It's awesome. All right, for our meme set, again, we always have a meme set on uh, on this channel. Our meme set is going to be a Venom Drench set. Now, why do I think Venom Drench is okay on this set? The biggest reason that Venom Drench is okay on this mod is because he is so bulky. Um, and abnormally bulky for like poison types, and he gets recovery. A lot of your poison types don't actually get access to like pain split and recover and that kind of thing. There are a few, but not many you know you do have like toxapex and things like that that do get recover but there are not many things that get it and so venom drench can really help to weaken a mon across uh, across from you and so you set up the t spikes right you only need one you don't have to do both and you go for the venom drench now you have the opportunity to set up with something else in the back and that mon has to switch uh, because venom drench does lower 
your attack, special attack, and speed. It's not just like Memento with attack and special attack. It lowers their speed, which is pretty significant because then that allows you to get off not only a fast pain split, you could also get off a second Venom Drench in order to take your hits better. Um, and you can switch into something. They're not hitting nearly as hard and now you're faster where you wouldn't have been before. So I think Venom Drench is actually pretty decent in this meta. It can help you get set up with things such as um, like a Surfetched, for instance. Um, it can help you set up things like a Swords Dance with Haxorus, a Dragon Dance with Haxorus or um, Flagon. Any of those setup sweepers like that, they really appreciate um, something like this. So. I don't think this is all that bad. I think it could work in uh, in very specific situations. So uh, yeah, go out, try it out, and uh, see what you think. But anyway, guys, that is going to be all for today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys are enjoying all of these videos that I'm bringing you. If so, make sure to leave a like and a comment. I love reading your guys' comments, and I... Uh, I love replying to them, getting to know you guys, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are a brand new channel, obviously, so any and all support is absolutely amazing, and um, I just love getting to meet all of you new people. So anyway, guys, until next time, this has been Dapper Snapper. Bye-bye.